Hello, and welcome back to this Let's Play of the Warhammer 40k mod for Open XCOM Extended. On the last episode, I ended with sending our troops to training, and so I've completed the training off-air, and am just about to finish with the end of the turn right now, so you can all see what stats you got. We have Gearblade, getting some good accuracy and secondary stats. Mongo training again accuracy some okay melee but lots of stamina and HP Shrek a little bit less accuracy I would like you to get more Beardy our sniper getting even more snipery Starving Poet good bits of training because of an his officer's sword Andrew good sniping Teeker also better with that those heavy weapons Gabrielle as medic got some good training. Bo got lots of reactions, that's nice. Rosa Phineas, more accurate with the excuse me, Laz Cannon. Osric, here we go, one of our uh, veterans in training. Uh, only 10 more bravery to go. I think only five more accuracy. So you're getting pretty close to becoming a veteran. Me, I don't matter that much. Riskelion, lots of melee training. This is necessary, you like melee charges. Brave Sir Robin, became more brave. More accuracy, more reactions. You need a lot if you want to become a veteran. White Shield's better. Our officers, Orsk, got better. Bullet Designer got his last bit of bravery training. Also, he is maxed accuracy, so we don't have to train that anymore on him. <sighs> Okay, uh, we are searching for an uptick in activity over here, and we have a new recruit. So I actually have three new recruits in the queue, but or four new recruits in the queue, but three of them require honor badges, so that might take a little while before they get here. In the meantime, though, we do have one claim on a white shield. Let's take this one that is on the Valkyrie right now. You will be known as Guardsman Fallout Soldier Fallout, because you're a Guardsman. Welcome to the Imperial Guard. Okay. And now we can search for that activity. Aha! We have found it. Um, so... This is a Terminator craft, most likely. Which means we would need a fair number of soldiers to actually assault this, and they are still returning from the training. I think what I'm going to have, have my uh, Valkyrie do is just touch and go to reduce the, reduce the amount of time that it sits there landed and gaining points for Chaos. So let's just uh, peek out the side doors. Here's your first mission, Fallout. You just get to see... Um... Yeah, I don't even can't even see where the craft is. Actually. Huh. Um... There it is. Yep. That's a Chaos Navigator. That's the Terminator's craft. We won't be able to... And there's a Terminator probably right there. Abort. Excuse me for a second. Sorry, that uh, last bit of winter phlegm has turned into something that's required maximum strength nasal decongestant, so might be a little more phlegmy today. I want to apologize in chance for that. Uh, sorry, White Shield, uh, I didn't ex- well, I should have expected there to be a Terminator right there. Traded, uh, your life for a little bit less of a score hit. Alright, crack grenades at Fort Dearborn. Good. 
Let me check my notes. I feel like I should be f sending Fort Dearborn out to um, to go patrol somewhere, but I don't remember all of where I'm looking for patrols. Aha. So we have Central Asia with the Terminators that we just saw. North Africa, we're having Trader Guardsmen. And let's check our graphs. That's North Africa. That's Central Asia. And I don't see upticks anywhere else. So that means we can send out some patrols. We'll have Fort Dearborn cover North Africa. Let's... Uh, Take everybody out of the Valkyrie. Remove the equipment. Get our Hello Miko, who is in the Sentinel. Some Ogren. <clears throat> Sorry, Ivan, you're still out for a little while longer. Get all of our named soldiers in. Our officers and some white shields. Bring some equipment. We want the mounted auto cannon. Ah, right. We need to take off one of the recruits before we can fit the mounted auto cannon. There we go. Take the bolt pistol. We're dealing with trader guardsmen, so we we'll want flamers. Ripper guns for our Ogren. We need more ammo. Backup LAS pistols. Some LAS guns. Maybe not that many. That should be enough. Uh, LAS. Long LAS. We might want a melted gun in case we want to burn through a hull. Let's bring, yeah, just one of them. Grenade launchers. We'll bring both types of grenades. Frags will be best against normal guardsmen, but heavy guardsmen and vehicles might uh, warrant cracks. Heavy bolter, of course. Missile launcher, why not? Las cannon, of course. We have some officers. We'll want some grenades. Bring these again. I keep saying we'll use them. We'll actually try and use them against Trader Guardsmen. Smokes, of course, smokes. And Meltas and Motion Scanners. So I said we are running low on Ripper Gun Drums, so we'll get 10 more of those. Also, we I think we are running a little low on smoke grenades. We are. Let's get a few more. And now we can send Fort Dearborn's crew out to North Africa for patrol. Before I send out Fort Anher's crew, I wanted to get um, armor. I wanted to get Brave Sir Robin in medic armor in order to start training as a medic, training his bravery. <coughs> Also wanted to make sure I had a combat knife for him so that he can train reactions using the combat knife at the same time. Again, we're putting uh, Brave Sir Robin through a crash course in veteran training since he wants to take the hard road to becoming a stormtrooper. All right, and we can start spinning the globe. Research completed on the Hotshot Volley Gun. So this is advanced equipment for a Stormtrooper. Uh, compared to the Hell Gun, it does the same damage. It uses the same Hotshot ammo. However, it is much faster firing. You can see it can get three auto shots guaranteed with uh, nice accuracy, but four auto shots total and double up on the snap. So this might be a bit shorter range than the Hell Gun, but it unleashes a whole lot of those hotshot volleys. Hence the name. So we might build one of those for a stormtrooper. In the meantime, uh, we are getting transmission decoder, which we need. We'll get the plasma gun charges and then work on power sources. We can make a hotshot volley gun. I won't make one right away. 
but just so we see it takes promethium and adamantium components and it gives us an advanced carapace armor with the volley gun included we'll make that once we have some stormtroopers who can use it all right we have our combat knife at Fort Anher. Give me a minute. Okay, that's better. Combat knife at Fort Anher. That means we can take our crew off of the Valkyrie drop transport, load them up on the Chimera. So Gearblade, you get your Sentinel back. We're going to take a mounted LAS cannon instead of the um, Hellhammer LAS cannon. So this is going to be Brosophineus and Gabrielle are going to work on using this mounted LAS cannon, just like the mounted auto cannon in the other base. We take Mongo and Shrek. Starving Poet, why are you still up here? You should be down here with the officers. Alright. We have everybody in their proper armor. Let's bring the equipment. Bolt pistol for Dio. We're dealing with Terminators, so we'll keep that in mind. Uh, we'll take the Stalker Pattern with the Kraken Penetrator Clip, again for Bullet Designer. Bring an app, uh, backup standard bolt clip. Heavy Stubber really won't be useful. The Auto Cannon will be. Shrek's Gun. Ripper Gun for Mongo. We'll take a few last pistols. Some las guns. We have all the nice ones and a few backup las guns. Make sure I have plenty of ammo. Long las. We only need two. We need the Lucius patterns as well. Take the melted guns. Those are definitely useful against terminators. Grenade launchers with cracks. Heavy Bolter, uh, we're just taking one, and incendiary cases, in case we have to fight at night, definitely need missiles. We're bringing the power cells, chain sword for Dio, shock maul for Orsk, combat knife for Brave Sir Robin, officer swords, and crack grenades. I don't think photon flash grenades are going to be useful at all versus terminators. Smoke grenades, melted grenades, motion scanners. Chimera 1 is ready for deployment. Let's get them patrolling. Again, check our graphs, make sure I'm not missing anything. We have a new white shield to make up for the one that I lost against those terminators put you in training still no activity we continue to wait we have a very small that is curious i expected to only have a small after seeing the trader guard craft let's uh, get some white shields in the valkyrie Go see what that is. Not the drop transport, the regular Valkyrie. Hmm. Some scouting in Europe, looks like. Just a tiny bit of activity there. Interesting. 
I'll have to keep an eye on that. Is that an nope, no activity yet. Adamantium forges at Fort Pochley are done. Good, we can start manufacturing uh, adamantium from Promethium Capone from Promethium. Let's transfer to Fort Pochley some of the excess Promethium. Transfer 250 from each base. Maybe only 200 from Fort Dearborn, just so that I have some backup. We'll get start getting some servitors here. We can afford 30 of them. General store is complete. All right. Check crafts again and keep going. We have activity. Looks like a small craft, probably a large scout equivalent for the trader guardsmen. Looks like Fort Dearborn's crew is going to get some work. Nothing in Central Asia, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's make see if we can reach it in time. Hopefully before nightfall. Oh no. Let's see where they go. Promethium to Fort Pochley, yes. Looks like a possible landing run. Yes, it is. All right, here's our chance. Chance number two. Come on, guys. Drive across that desert. Ah. Seriously. Well, that was a big whiff. And now we get to wait for something else to happen because I wasn't proactive enough in moving the Chimera. Servitors to Fort Pochley. We don't need more adamantium components yet. Uh, so in the meantime, we're going to start producing um, melta charges to pay for our servitor's salary. Uh, let's go ahead and also transfer to Fort Pochley all the extra corpses we have, which is a lot. That's not how you spell corpse, that is. Okay. Hopefully this episode will get a bit less boring in a little bit. Is that activity in... nope. Wow, March, May is kind of boring. We have a new barracks at Fort Pochley, which means we can hire more servitors in a bit. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and get 10 more servitors. It's probably as many as we'll get for the month. <clears throat> a very large craft. Or no, just a large very high. I was reading those two together. That looks like it's headed for North Africa. Or I guess it could be headed for Europe, too. Um, let's actually get you in a place in between. Uh, let's get that Valkyrie in there. Okay, it started slowing down, so that's North African activity. Thank 
And I'm thinking that is a terror mission because that um, that large isn't landing. So we have the identity of what uh, Chimera 2 is going to do. Plasma gun charges, which we can't really see much of because we don't have a plasma gun yet. Let's also throw a uh, plasma pistol and plasma pistol charge since these will be useful for our officers when we get there. Can't really do much else right now. Or much else that I would like to do. And we have also finished our transmission decoder research. So this uh, new facility will uh, make all of our radar, radar obsolete. Uh, so we should try and upgrade everybody to every base to using the transmission decoder instead of radar as soon as possible. It's kind of expensive though. Let us actually see how much Promethium would I have to sell in order to get those? Okay, so I could probably get... I could definitely get one for for Anher. Do I really want to go that deep into my stores, though? I think we can wait. We've been doing fine without the transmission decoders. It's just a nice-to-have at this point. So we'll wait. Patience is a virtue. More servitors at Fort Chipotle. We can add them to paying their bills. We have a large craft. Probably full of Terminators. This, this could be fun. This might be the excitement that we've been waiting for this month. Let's get the Valkyrie out there as a radar. Start moving our Chimera that way. Alright, drive across the desert, man. We really want to reach that craft. Even if it's at night, we're still going to do it. And just in case uh, you're waiting for with bated breath for that, we have a small craft that I think is going to be headed for Europe. So just uh, keep that in mind for later. I don't think we should wait for a day on this mission, even though it's going to be Terminators. We've done Terminators at night. We can do it again. Here we go. We have a mounted LAS cannon, which needs to get loaded with LAS cannon power cells. There we go. We have gear blade driving a sentinel. Mongo, uh, no, you don't need the Voss pattern. You need your ripper gun. You need a melt -a grenade and you need a smoke grenade. Shrek, you don't get a LAS gun, you get an auto cannon. Really, that's just it, you just need an auto cannon. Beardy Dan, our sniper. Let's get you a long LAS, make sure it's loaded with hot shot. Get you a smoke grenade and a motion scanner. I'll copy that because we have at least one more sniper. Andrew Sand. I believe you're our, our other sniper, are you not? Tiger, uh, you want your grenade launcher? I, you know what? I should have really changed you to Carapace. You are definitely strong enough, definitely fast enough. You're a sergeant. You have maxed firing accuracy and pretty good reactions. I'll just uh, be careful with you. 
you're going to take a smoke grenade and a crack grenade as backup. A little more powerful than your launcher. Gabrielle is one of the loading crew, so you're going to take a las gun, power cell. You you're actually pretty strong, um, so you might warrant an upgrade from flak medic to carapace medic once you have some more time units. You'll take the extra power cells to operate the las cannon along with Brosophineus. Bow. Um, I don't remember what I had bow using, but you can use the heavy bolter. So let's give you will want incendiary rounds. We'll give you that in a second. You'll take an Ekatran pattern las gun and a smoke grenade. And let's go ahead and give it to you so I don't have to go find it later. Brosophineus is our is operating the mounted las cannon so you just need a las gun for now um let us see i could give you a vestroya i guess yeah let's just give you a vestroya you're not going to be actually no you're not going to be using it that much you're going to have a regular las gun and we can get you a better las gun if you're needed for the assault so let's get you grenades and the power cells osric is uh one of the two trying to get to veteran uh you just need some bravery really and um accuracy training so that means vastroya for you and we want to get you forward to using the um, melee on your Carapace medic armor, but carefully. We don't want you to die. You can carry a smoke grenade and a crack grenade. Could I also give you a melt grenade? Mm, no, you're not. Very, you're not strong with the carapace armor on, so you'll just have that for now. Me, of course, I'm carrying the Lucius because I need to get close. Grenades. Riskelion is our melee crew. Oh, I gave up all the um, Akatran patterns because that's what you were using before. Uh, let's give you a Lucius pattern. Since I'm using one, why not Riskelion as well? Actually, Riskelion, we could give you a Meltagun. How how melee accurate are you? No, you you'll want this for the bayonet for now. Grenades, of course. Brave Sir Robin, um, since you're now in medic armor, you don't need to use the officer's sword. But we did get you a combat knife. And you can use a Vestroya. And a smoke grenade. Fallout, um, you have your chance to do some damage against the Terminators. For now, I think you're going to get a Meltagun and a grenade. Let's have a white shield, a backup white shield with a melta gun, and another white shield with the las gun. Orsk is our officer who likes melee attacks. So here's your sword, here's your shock maul, here's your Voss pattern. And now motion scanners will put them on the commissars. Uh, you can carry carry a grenade. That's not a grenade. Maybe a backup smoke. Starving poet. Um, no, the chain sword's not for you. Sorry. You're going to get a sword. You're going to get a Voss pattern. You're going to get grenades because of that strength. And I should have put you in Commissar as well, or in Carapace as well, but oh well. Belt full of grenades. That looks pretty good. Bullet designer using the stalker pattern bolter. Put that back up ammo. You'll get a motion scanner, smoke grenade, 
Melta, and Crack Grenade. Dio being our Chainsword Commissar. Carrying a Motion Scanner. And a Smoke Grenade, and a Backup. Or, you don't have the uh, carrying capa capacity for all that, just Smoke Grenade. And we're back to our start. Let us begin. And here we have first face of our enemy, a demon. Let's turn on night vision. Um, we're going to definitely use a one of the turrets to get rid of it. And here is our craft. This doesn't look like a standard uh, hell sword. I thought this was a landed large. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, we have terminators on top. This is going to make this interesting. Another demon. Another terminator up high, which is going to make deploying to the top of our chimeras risky. Um, but nobody really staring us down. I guess that's good. So we'll have the chimera start. Okay, try it again. It's bleeding. The plague bearer is bleeding. That's good. Um, but not dead. Mongo, I feel like if we could run you out here, but um, we need you to push the turret out of the way so Gearblade can get moving. Um, which one does this one? Alright, now that was supposed to push the thing, not do nothing. Huh. Let me try with the shield. Okay, there we go. So it might just be this um, special weapon. Didn't work for that. Um, what do you need? 18 for an auto shot? There we go. Some good old Ripper gun. Let's get our mounted Laz cannon out into the field. There's a Terminator, like right there. Ah, that's. Oh no, it was the guy up top. How did how did you see it? Well, sorry, Brosophinius, we forgot to bring the backup last cannon. It's going to make this more fun. All right, reduce that armor a bit. Gearblade, you need 59. Oh, man, we're on this. This uh, tile set really saps time units moving. Uh, yes, we see the Terminators up top. Uh, we're going to use you to try and get this demon. Good job, Gearblade. Showing us how to really use that sentinel. Uh, Shrek has the autocannon. Which, uh, again, this tile set really is bad for movement because these uh, all these ruins slow you down as you try and run through them. However, Mongo can set up here, and let's try and get this guy. Well, it hit, just not hard, and hard enough. Uh, sorry, Gabrielle and um, Bruce Phineas. Let's see, what else? Where do we want our heavy bolter? Um, I think we're going to want you to move this way. So... Uh, you're going to come out. Kneel down. You're going to help light up the map over here. Brosophinius, uh, you can pick up a 
we're gonna switch you and Gabrielle to a missile launcher team. We did bring that, so we are not completely without heavy weapons. You can bring two backup missiles. And pick up that launcher. We'll have Osric come out and take some extra LAS gunshots here. What do you need? 15 for an auto shot? Or 15 for a snap? You can see this guy. Yep, just start the... Uh, Les guns singing. Um, I can come out and take a snapshot. Not a very good one, but I can still do it. Uh, Riskelian, part of our melee crew. Still working on your accuracy. Beardy, a sniper. See, I'm a bit concerned about this guy also coming closer. Fortunately, we don't have, we just have mostly open ground over here, so a smoke grenade maybe there and there should cover us. Let's have Beardy come out and take some snapshots. Who got hit? Of course, Shrek got hit. Um. We'll have to have Osric or Brave Sir Robin heal you. Wow. I did not expect this guy to be able to see when Shrek already got to that position. <sighs> and have another shot. Terminators are so much fun. Andrew? Would you like to start sniping? Still not through that frontal plate, of course, because it's a Terminator. Uh, Teeker, I think you're not going to do quite as much this turn with that grenade launcher, but we do need smoke. 18 to throw. You're going to be the smoke here. Brave Sir Robin, be brave, heal Shrek. There you go, Shrek, you're somewhat back with us. Um, that was a really big hit from that Storm Bolter. And even on the front armor through Carapace, wow. Uh, you're also going to give him a painkiller so to restore his morale so that he doesn't go crazy with that autocannon. Uh, Fallout. Oh, I should have used the melted guns first. Right, I have them. Fallout, here's your chance. Prove to me you know how to use that weapon. That was not great. Don't, don't let a white shield show you up. You just let a white shield show you up and burn through that armor. Um, Orsk, or Starving Poet. I think a command is in order here. Let's get everybody ready for Starving Poet's command. We'll have Dio come out. Um, bullet designer can toss the other smoke. Uh, let's first get Orsk out of the craft and um, actually we could double command here. Ooh. That could be interesting. Uh, let's get this white shield out. White shield scout. We'll have Orsk move up over here.
bullet designer move out to toss the grenade. Dio come out to maybe finish off this Terminator. Very good deal. And now, let's inspire. Forward, you dogs, to victory! Shrek has almost full time units again. Our sniper teams have almost full time units again. This is pretty nice. Let's see if we can use that. Oh, wow, I am going on 40 minutes now. This has been a pretty long episode. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and finish this first turn. Get some retaliation against that guy. Beardy, you also have a pretty good shot, right? Pretty good two shots. We're not firing against this guy because he still has time units. Brave Sir Robin can take some shots. Teeker can... Oh, you have... Harking Shot. Which, um... That guy apparently is just beyond your reach. Okay. Brave Sir Robin can take... Uh, let's have Dio take a few shots and then move out of the way. Or... Have Shrek take some shots. I should have just quit lies ahead. Track, you just... Oh. oh boy. I am very sorry, sorry, Beardy. We'll get you back and sniping soon. Shrek, I don't know what you were thinking. I ought to have one of our commissars execute you for that, but honestly, we need the, we need your firepower. All right, um, yeah, let's get another shot. Press the attack, you dogs! Or I can do that. <sighs> I am thinking well. Um, you know, at this point, I'm not sure I'm going to do much more, much more good this episode. Um, still have, you know what? Finished out. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Yeah, this is... This is not great. Terminators with a... Uh, elevated position. Just not a great thing to deal with. At least he's bleeding. That was a big loss, though. I might have um, Prosophinius and Gabrielle use the auto cannon as well as that missile launcher. Anyways, um, I'm pretty sure that's it for this turn and this episode. I uh, apparently shouldn't continue when I'm not feeling great because it ends like this. Okay. Yeah, so on that note, um, sorry Beardy, sorry Shrek, sorry Riskelion. We'll get you all back soon. Um, and hopefully by, by next week I'll be feeling well enough to not commit atrocities like this against and that against terminators I want to thank you all for watching i will see you in the next episode cheers